the key was not how many big roots that tree had going out here and then branched. The big trees always had lots of roots that it initiated right at the base of the stem. Every single time. On the elm, on the pine, on the oak, it didn't matter. The, the message was very vivid. You need to make that tree branch right at the base of the stem. That's what's most important to the growth and health of the tree. Now, the other thing, you know, you, you've all taught and heard, and, and some of you might even believe it, but I don't, is that a tree has to have a taproot. Not true. A, a taproot is, is simply uh, Mother Nature's mechanism for helping the seedling survive in adverse conditions. But uh, in reality, where we're taking away those adverse conditions, the sooner we destroy that taproot, the better off the plant is. So our goal and the reason these containers are four inches deep is because in a whole series of studies where we tried containers two inches, four inches, six inches, we had even some 16 inches deep that went back all the way to when we were doing milk cartons. I first came up using milk cartons as containers to grow trees in 1968, but we, you know, all the way here. But when we, when we grew trees and used this as our pot, the old taproot would go all the way to the bottom. We'd have root branches back up here about four inches. We'd have a few roots up here at the top and then just a piece of pipe in between. What our goal is, is to have the air prune that tip of the taproot four inches below the surface and get all this root branching that was occurring down at the bottom. Because the rest of this is just wasted. It's, it's volume of mix, it's, uh, it's weight that you have to handle, it's, it's not doing you any good. I would like to shift every plant and every container once each growing season to have fresh mix that's well aerated with plenty of nutrients uh, a minimum of accumulated salts and all those factors in there. A second growing season, you can still get pretty good growth. By the third growing season, almost nothing happens because you've run out of space. You run out of space. The roots grow in the spaces that were originally filled with air. So the more the roots grow, the less air there is, and oxygen is a key function, a key part of root, root growth and root development. Um, and then there's some, some settling of the mix. There's decomposition of the mix due to, um, you know, breakdown of the bark or whatever the components are. Between those three factors, two growing season is the maximum that is practical to leave a tree in a container. You can just see the white tips. Again, I broke off the tips. Any of the tips that hit that fabric, they get trapped. That's the neat thing about it. Root tip trapping, I discovered, gosh, years and years ago, but it's only been recently when I figured out how to, how to utilize it to an advantage. When, when the tip of that root can no longer extend, it has the same precise effect as if I cut it. If I cut the root, then I have an open wound. If I trap the tip of that root, I don't have an open wound. So the op opportunity for entrance of a, of a disease organism is, is, is minimal. If I air root prune it, I don't have an open wound. What I have is shriveled, dehydrated tissue. So in essence, with air root pruning, I've cauterized the tip of that root. And again, uh, so you, you get the benefit of restricting the control of the tip of the root without having an open wound. Another point that I didn't mention earlier that I should have mentioned is that the younger a root is, the more responsive it is. And see, these are starting to branch back in here further. 20 days. And it's off and running. If, if you want roots to branch at the maximum, do it at the youngest possible stage and you will get more branching. See, if I can take one root tip and magnify that into 
50 root pips or whatever is on this one on my in my left hand, I've increased the absorptive capacity many, many fold. I, I didn't know exactly what we'd see, but I'm delighted with what we see. Wow. See, some of these are, some of those are probably eight, nine inches long out there. That's not too bad for this time of year. We just killed a tree. <laughs> Isn't that a terrible thing to have happen? You think I heard it? I didn't hurt it a bit. How many bald and burlap trees could you do that with and still get it to survive? You just, you'd have to work, like I say, you'd have to work to kill that tree. Just masses and masses of roots.